you've talked about protecting fundamental freedoms in, in your in your platform, including the freedom of expression. And you talked about leadership, and I'm going to quote here, that doesn't flinch in the face of political correctness. What are you proposing? Well, um, exactly like what we were talking about this week with respect to, you know, the issue of systemic discrimination. Um, we need leaders that are going to stand up and tell the truth about certain issues. And the reality is, is that uh, Trudeau wore blackface on numerous occasions. And yet I did not hear anybody in the Liberal Party uh, say this is anti-black racism. Let's have a, a talk about anti-black racism. And he is still the prime minister of this country. But yet, Stockwell Day, la uh, a few days ago, made some misstatements about conflating individual racism versus systemic racism. And he had to step down from three positions. This is the type of hypocrisy that I want to challenge. Because if we have standards, those standards have to apply to everybody, not just to conservatives and not just to certain individuals in our society. So your, your fear is that the liberals, the prime minister gets an easier ride on this and the conservative leaders would. Well, that's obvious. The prime minister is still the prime minister after engaging in one of the most uh, horrendously racist acts. Uh, he, and and his, his uh, colleagues coddled him and he apologized. And I accept his apology. But why haven't people accept the apology of Stockwell Day? Why did he have to step down from his three positions? positions whereby we should have a society where we encourage people to say things, where we encourage people to talk, where we encourage people to learn from our lived experiences. And when we do things like what we've done to Stockwell Day, we shut down the dialogue. And that is political correctness. And that is what I'm fighting against because it doesn't allow us to move forward and affect systemic change. I haven't talked to Stockwell Day, but I would point out that his his notices were that he was he'd offered to resign from these positions just to make sure that the record is clear on that. Uh, one last thing, and, and it's obviously one you he offered to resign because of the pressure, obviously, and because he did not want to um, negatively affect the reputation of the businesses, but yet our prime minister is still prime minister. Has he affected the reputation of Canada internationally? I, I don't know. Has he? I, I believe he has. Okay.